What is up, guys? Uh, tonight, I'm going to be playing some more Skies of Arcadia. This will be part two. Uh, let me adjust the mic just a bit. It's been a little while since I got all this adjusted. Alright. Yeah, um... Uh... Probably play for about two or three hours tonight. Just depends. I don't know. I might hit another stream of energy, so we'll see. Um, but yeah, I, I remember last time we got to the boss. We, I don't think we watched this yet, so we could just let this play for a second. Yeah, no, it's my weekend. I got off. I got some Dr. Pepper, so you might see a little out of it, a little tired, but we get this party rolling. All right, I want to start already. <laughs> I just want to start. I just want to start. Yeah, basically, we got to the boss last time, but I ran out of uh, potions and magic. And <clears throat> I had to go back. I had to go back, get some more uh, vice learned healing spells as well. So now we both have healing spells. One bad thing, though. Got to drain the water again. Not super bad, though. I don't think there's any paths that wind off in another direction. Maybe it's just that last bit I need to drain, then. That's not too... That's not too bad. Hold on real quick. Yeah, but I've been having a lot of fun with my new job, so that's good. And I should be able to stream more soon after I get out of training. Basically, once the job becomes monotonous, which will be fairly soon, I still have technically another two weeks of training. Um, that'll be good. That I could, you know go to work with like four hours of sleep all right um this guy has a lot of defense so I was able to get Vice another weapon as well, which is good. Let's actually get a hit. No, I just hit one of them. I thought I was going to hit both of them. That's what I thought. Huh, that was easy. All right. So maybe we can get to level seven before we get to the boss. But like I said, I'm I'm more confident with the uh, the upgrades and the items I got that we should be able to take him down. Should be able to take him down. Alright. Make sure it says part two.
Hold on real quick. What the fuck? Sorry, my computer's being stupid. That's weird. Let me turn off, uh... My media server. Hopefully that's... That's not the thing that's screwing everything up. Shield. Hold on, I'm texting real quick. Motherfuckers. Be docking down that last little bit of water, which I want to say it's down here. I guess I'll do suited up. So it's up the stairs then. Alright. We get my cherry Dr. Pepper opened. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Very delicious. Yeah, it's just that last little bit of water. I feel like when I talk all day at work, and then uh, I talk on the stream, my vo I start losing my voice. I'm gonna have to start drinking more water. Something. Something's gonna have to happen. The soda is killing me. You know what? We'll see if she can alpha storm him the next turn. All 
All right. Um, they didn't attack me. They're running away. See, just that little, that little bit of a level up I got before I got in here is helping me quite a bit. Oh, I bought armor too. I forgot about that. I think the armor is definitely doing something. Let's see if I can get these guys. I guess it doesn't matter because they're just going to attack both of them. I don't know why well, they're choosing which one I was going to attack. <clears throat> Excuse me. seven and I got a moonberry hold on I think the moonberry was for the super moves just curious oh, okay <clears throat> so I'll save that one then pretty sweet. Pretty sweet indeed. Alright. Alright, this one goes down further. This place is a little confusing, but not super confusing. save it just in case I get a bad bad mix up on the boss I do really like okay I I dislike that I have low magic points but I really like the fact that I have so many uh like the special moves don't cost magic points Motherfuckers. Are you serious? <coughs> well, I hit both the fish. That's actually pretty decent. This will probably get a... Uh, 
get my other character to level 7. I was trying to think of her name, but... Hey! How you doing tonight? Yeah... I haven't, um... I haven't ever got that far in this game. Once I get through this dungeon, this will be the farthest I've ever gone. No, I haven't got to play the GameCube version, sadly. I will eventually. It's like, it's on my list of GameCube games to play. But how's your night going on, uh, Arias? Sorry, I've been up since 5 in the morning, so... I'm a little out of it, but it's, it's my night off, so I'm gonna rock out some gaming as long as I can. So far the system is uh, pretty unique with the S moves, I'd say. I'm sure it's gonna get a whole lot more complex as things go, but... Yeah, you run away. We won! We won! Damn it. I thought that would get her to level 7, but I guess not. Yeah, um, I actually grew up playing Grandia 2. The, uh, Grandia 2 and Shenmue were the, I'd say, the RPG games I had for the Dreamcast um, when I first got it. But we finally made it. That wasn't too bad. Yeah, but look at the size of that stone. It'll be an adventure and a half just to get that thing back outside. Aiko, what's wrong? Vice, those rocks, they're moving. Alright. I got this guy this time. Because I think with level ups, um, it also helps with movement speed. Like how many turn, how many turns you get, and how many turns the boss gets. All right, so focus and sure. I don't know how many turns that lasts, or if it's just the turn that I use it. Hey, what's up, Courtesy Flush? How's your night going? Uh, let's see. Don't think that's gonna help me much. I'm doing all right. It's it's my night off, so just enjoying some gaming, hanging out, playing playing some of this awesome game that I've always wanted to play through. I've always seen it, just never never got to play through it. So I'm excited. Damn it! I should have shielded. I don't know. I was thinking. Oh my god! It's a good thing I saved it. Okay, I'm guessing I'm gonna try it. I haven't tried it yet. Okay, so I can't heal someone who's dead. That's terrible. 
I bet I could still take this guy even with one person, though. If not, I'm going to heal before the battle, because I, di I didn't want to waste my healing right away, but I underestimated how much damage he was going to do. It happens. I will say this first boss so far has been pretty tough, but again, learning the system and everything, I'm gonna have to get used to everything, so. God damn it. I think I'm gonna have to reset it real quick. Just gonna have to reset. Yeah, I'm just gonna reset it real quick. It'll be faster, trust me. It will be faster. So, what have you been up to, courtesy? Just hanging out. Checking out the cool games. Yeah. I love that Dreamcast startup sound. Made by the guy from Yellow Mag Magic Orchestra. Which is a really good Japanese... 70s, 80s band. He did some other video game music too, but I don't remember what it was. And then the the guy from Begin Japanology, Peter Barricant, played bass for Yellow Magic Orchestra. Not all the time, but uh He definitely did play bass with them. See, that's why I don't want to heal too much, but I'm just gonna have to get it over with, waste my heals. I got this though. Hell yeah, snacking. What you snacking on? Yes, I know. Oh, it skips text pretty fast. That's that's good. <clears throat> I got some cherry Dr. Pepper myself. Focus it up, bro. Chips and hummus. That sounds good. I'm not the biggest hummus fan, but every now and then I like some hummus. Definitely healthy for you, though. Okay, so let's see if I can shield 
and do this. I'm just afraid he's going to use that attack. I shouldn't be so scared, but he just does so much goddamn damage. I guess better safe than sorry. Damn. That shield should help though, I think. Yeah, that shield helps a lot, actually. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, I used her magic. It's a good thing I have some items. Nice. And the counterattack. That's what I'm talking about. Get that focus in. I know I'm totally gonna get lost in this game though. Th thank god I use that shield. <coughs> shield is saving my ass. risk it. I'm gonna risk the biscuit. So close. That wasn't too bad. Actually, I don't know why he did so much damage that first time, then. The shield must stay up longer than, than I think, then. Alright, um...
Damn. That's a pretty cool little death animation. Oh, shit ton of gold. And another moonberry. <coughs> Whew. Looks like I won't be getting up anymore. What was that thing? Some kind of ancient guardian, I think. Who knows? Okay. Like, uh, we need to hurry up and secure the Moonstone. That's my kind of plan. Wow, this Moonstone is huge. Yeah, it was definitely worth going through all the, that trouble. We won't have to worry about fuel for a while. It's beautiful. Treasure hunting is definitely my favorite part of being an air pirate. Wait till everyone back home sees what we found. Oh shit. You received the raw moonstone. That was actually pretty badass. They were just like, Shh. A high five and. That guy's all tired. <laughs> Ah, uh, looks like it's going to be another nice day today. Not too windy. Well, there's the bell. Time to get to work. I gotta loosen up a little. Huh? Oh, shit. Oh. Oh, no. Ships. Ships approaching from the northeast. Distance 1.5 leagues. It's the Imperial Armada. They've got a full battle squadron. They're in attack formation. Run. Run to the hills. Run for your lives. Everyone, get underground. Women and children first. Hurry. Damn, I never thought they'd find us. That flag. It's the Glacians' flagship. Glacians. Lord Glacian, we blasted the island with cannon fire, and our troops have begun the invasion. Good. They seem very organized for a small village that is under siege. I don't know who their leader is, but he seems very capable. Perhaps Alfonso was in, an, in over his head. Perhaps. No matter. It appears the battle is over. Retrieve the girl and bring her to me. Capture the air pirates. We'll need to interrogate them. We'll need to in interrogate them when we return to Valia, and be sure to destroy their ship as well. And if they resist Lord Glacian, what does your excellency wish to wish me to do if the situation arises? I don't think they're foolish enough to resist. However, if something should happen, burn the village and kill them all. Let the bodies rot in the sun and leave one of our flags to set an example for the others who may defy us. Jesus. That was, that was pretty dark, actually. <laughs> yeah, we got we got the Moonstone, guys. We can evolve Jigglypuff. Alright, I'm gonna save it. 
Who knows what's going to happen now? Only the windfish knows. to the was it to the south or to the north shit I think it's to the south because I think it was north north to the uh, temple yeah Come on, he's going to cast Pyre on us. Alright, sweet. That wasn't so bad. And... Ah, 136 gold. Pyretile. all messed up but did they find the secret entrance no no one's at the house this is probably from a cannon blast even the ground is scorched there here those valiant valians are going to pay gonna pay with their own blood I'm sorry I keep I, I feel like I keep keep misreading things like I said I've been up since five in the morning so excuse my f my French vice oh thank the moons are safe the Armada they attacked pirate Isle they just came out of nowhere and attacked us without any warning. Then they took all the men back to Valia. They even destroyed the albatross. Your father must have been heartbroken. A whole lot of ships from Valia came and started shooting at us. They took everyone's daddies away. And our houses, our whole village, it was destroyed. I don't know what to do, Vice. Uh, I don't know what to do either. Hopefully somebody knows. Vice, your mother is really worried about you. The last time I saw her, she was in Captain Dine's office. Go see her, Vice. Let her know you're okay. Okay, so the game told me what to do. That's good. Mom. Vice, Eka, thank the moons you two are safe. What happened here? It was the Imperial Armada. They came out of nowhere and attacked us. What happened to Dad? Where is everyone else? His his expression is great, just because everyone else already told him. <laughs> but he's like, oh. Your father said if we fight, too many lives would be lost, so he surrendered. So Captain Dine and the others? They were taken prisoner by the Armada and taken to Valua. Damn, Finna. What happened to Finna? I'm sorry, Vice. The Armada took her too. In Valia, the punishment for pri piracy is death. Finna will probably be killed too. Vice, what should we do? What do you think, Aika? We have to save our families in Finna. I know rescuing everyone isn't going to be easy, but it's not impossible. 
We can't let them get away with this. Don't worry, we'll get them back somehow. Yeah, you're right. It's up to us. We can't give up now. All right, let's go. Let's go. Let's show those Valians what happened when they, what happens when they mess with the Blue Rogues. Wait, you won't be able to do anything against Valia in the shape you're in right now. Don't just rush after them. You'll need a plan first. It's not going to be an easy fight. But, but if we don't hurry, everyone might. My husband always said acting quickly and rushing are two completely different things. She should say, your father always said, especially in times like these, you must calm down and plan every move carefully. Unless it's a stepmother, that's always a possibility. Don't worry, everything will be all right. He, your father won't let things end up like this, not him. Yeah, mom, you're right. Eiko, let's rest up today. We'll leave for value first thing in the morning. Okay. Getting that good old rest. The Serpent Glacian's flagship. Lord Glacian. Glacian, as you ordered, I brought the girl to see you. Excellent. You may leave. As you wish. At last we meet, Finna. You cannot imagine how much trouble the Armada has gone through to find you. How did you know my name? I'm Glacian, the, so the sworn protector of Valia and the supreme commander of the Imperial Armada. I'm under direct orders from Her Royal Highness Empress Tidora to find you and bring you back to Valia. As a citizen of the Silver Citizenship, you have information that is useful to us. Will you help us? I don't think she's going to help you. I see. I did not expect you to help us without the proper motivation. However, I believe we have the same goals. So wouldn't it be best for us to help each other? We will reach Valia in half a day. Enjoy the comforts of the brig until then. That guy totally has like a Darth Vader type vibe. So I'm getting off that guy. Alright. I guess we head off then. Head off and out. I'm going to try to fix everything. You just watch. You won't have to worry about anything, okay, Vice? We're not little babies anymore. I was a little scared at first, but we've got to learn to take care of things around here, too. Don't worry about us, Vice. We're going to take care of everything while you're gone. My injury, it's all better. My dad always told me that anything that doesn't kill you, kill you will hurt at first, but it'll only make you stronger. Vice, just promise me one thing. You have to promise me that you'll come back safely, no matter what, okay? Promise. Sure, I promise. Sure, I promise. Have I, have I ever not... Have I ever not come home? Have I ever let you down, Lindsay? No, you've always come home to us. You see? So you don't have to worry. Don't worry, I'll come back safely and I'll bring everyone back with me. Okay, it's a promise then. Well, I'll be waiting for you. Come home soon. God damn it. I was trying to talk to the squirrel. Pow, pow. Okay, pal. I have to go away for a little while. You have to be a good boy and look after everyone while I'm away, alright? Pow, pow, pow. Bam, bam. Bam, 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 bam. Alright. Let's do it. Vice, Aka, good luck. You better come back. Promise me, okay? Of course. Don't worry. We'll be back with everyone else, too. Alright, Aika. Let's go. Aye, aye. Valia should be on a landmass due north from here. Okay, north. I'm setting the course. Alright, Valia. Here we come.
Let's not get lost. We got a lot of space fuel, or airship fuel, I should say. Alright, so due north. So it's past the temple. Well, there's a mountain. I don't think it's the mountain. It's funny how much trouble these enemies were giving me the other day. And now they're just like cannon fodder. Huh, that was easy. All right. Visibility is horrible, Vice. The fog's too thick. I can barely see. That's strange. There's never any fog in this region. I wonder what's causing it. The only way to get to Valia is through here. Slow to half speed. Vice, wait. We're too close to that island over there. Oh, no. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. What? Where? Uh, oh shit. Vice, look. It's, it's not an island. Whatever it is, it's alive. Yeah, flying whale. What the? It's an, it's an arc wheel. I've never seen one this big before. Vice, we'll get killed if we get too close to it, but we've got to hurry to value. Vice, what should we do? Uh, attack it? We've got to hurry, and it's in our way. If we don't do anything, it'll probably knock us out of the sky anyways. What are you talking about, Vice? Are you crazy? How are we going to be able to fight Fight it in this little ship? We don't even have cannons. What do you want to do? 10,000 Cutlass Furies? There's no way we can kill that thing. We'll be okay as long as it doesn't see us. I guess that's true. Uh... Damn, I think it's sauce. Yeah, it's sauce. That's funny. Grab hold of something. Embrace yourself. Don't let go. But, but the ship, it's breaking up. Uh... Oh, now we're fucked. We ain't got no ships back in town. They destroyed everything. Hey, get up. Are you going to sleep all day? Get up. Oh, my head. Uh. Aika, are you okay? So you finally decided to get up, huh? Because of you two. Account. Rock Nam got away. It was close. Man with an artificial arm. Oh, he's Jet. He's Jet from Cowboy Bebop. Rock Nam. Now I remember that huge arc wheel that blew our ship off course. I thought we were finished, but you rescued us. Hey, thanks. Thanks. Thanks, you say. Don't start with me. 
damn. Vice. Cut his furious ass. Oh. I'm not sure why, but I keep getting hurt today. Hey, what are you doing, you crusty, rusty old man? He didn't do anything. <sighs> yeah, seriously, he just straight punched him. Didn't do anything. I've been chasing after that arc whale for years. I was so close to finally capturing him, but because of you kids, he got away. I'm really sorry that you didn't catch him, really. Hmm. Debris from your ship hit my sails. I'm lucky my ship is still airborne. You kids were even luckier that I got here to grab you. I was working all morning tossing what was left of your ship overboard. Now I'm stuck with the two of you. What? Our ship was destroyed. Aye. Now this, this isn't a passenger ship. Everyone on board needs to pull their own weight. If you don't like it, you can jump off. I need to keep the load as light as possible anyways. What? Oh great, what kind of mess have we gotten ourselves into? Uh, we're on the bebop. No, oh, just joking. Go down in the hole and bring the two supply boxes up to the bridge. Bring two supply boxes up to the bridge, no problem, I'll bring them right away. Actually, sir, we are on our way to value when we are attacked. Where is the ship heading? Where the ship is going is none of your concern. Now get moving. I give up. I don't really have to, time to be doing this. But what other choice do I have? You could, uh, throw him off the... <laughs> throw him off the ship and take the ship, but... I mean, he's... He straight punched him, so I don't I don't think he's he's strong enough to uh take this guy out. I did just beat a stone robot though, I mean. Well, this looks like the box the old man wanted me to get. Er, what the what's in this thing? Great, this guy's probably gonna work us to death. He's all tired. <laughs> hmm. You look like you've got a little more than, than lumber on your bone, bones. What's your name, boy? My name is Vice. I'm a blue rogue. I used to do this type of grunt work on the pirate ship. An air pirate, huh? Well, what exactly would two air pirates be doing sailing alone? Well, we have our reasons. Sir, we need to get to value. I beg you, please take us there. Value, huh? Explain. Vice tells the man his story. And that's why we have to get there as soon as possible. We need to save our friends. Hmm, trying to pick a fight with the Armada. You've got to be out of your mind, boy. I have no time to babysit you and your friend, and I need to find... Rocknam again. Try your luck with a different ship. I see. It would really help if you could bring us, but we can't force you to. By the way, why exactly are you chasing Rocknam anyways? There is no need to tell you, and there is still one supply box left. Get down to the hole and get moving. Great. I'll spill my guts. He keeps quiet, and then he makes me do more work. What's with this guy? He does have a map though, which you don't, you did not have. No! God, God damn it. I didn't mean to do that. That's the wrong floor. Alright, so. Let's see. Bring this box up. Great, now I gotta move boxes all day. 
What's in this thing, anyways? Whale hormones. It might be whale hormones. It's probably like cannon cannonballs or something. He's going to ruin his back carrying boxes like that. Sorry. I'm done, sir. Alright. Now on to the next drawer. Take the helm. What? Are you really letting me? I want to see how well you can sail. If you can't sail, then you'll be loading boxes the rest of the trip. Well, most of my duties revolved around raiding, so I hardly ever got to actually fly our old ship. <laughs> well, they're pretty old, but these gauges are in great shape. And the wheel is so light, it's really responsive too. This ship must really make tight turns. Heh, for someone who's hardly been at the helm of a ship this size, you seem to know quite a bit, boy. Heh, <laughs> I spent a lot of time on the bridge of the Albatross, so I picked up a lot. Good, now let's see if you can actually sail. Our destination is Sailor's Island, about 40 leagues northeast of here. Northeast. Remember northeast. Wait a minute, you could get a... You could at least tell me the name of this ship and yours while you're at it. Hmm. The ship's called the Little Jack, and I'm Drakma. All right, now stop fooling around. The sun is going to set soon. Aye, aye, Captain Drakma. Little Jack, full speed ahead. Drakma. Drakma has joined your party. Drakma has allowed you to use his blue moonstone. Oh, he has a blue moonstone. Blue wiggly tufts. Alright, so let's equip Drakmon. Oh shit, he's level 12. Alright, he already has the blue one equipped. Oh, the ship has it? Alright, so it's northeast. Oh, you said it was northeast. How the hell do I get through these rocks? Well, there's this island. I don't think that's where I'm supposed to go. Whatever. I get to try out, try out the new character in battle. That'll be useful. Damn it. Seriously? Really? I've missed three attacks in a row? Yeah, it's super missing. I should just focus that round. Nice. Nice. Man, you have a lot of cool, cool emotes, courtesy. You have so many. This is the island he was talking about. No. 
I don't know how the hell I'm supposed to get through that waterfall though. Cause it doesn't it doesn't look like I can go that way, if that makes any sense. I wish I could be like him. Alright. Focus. Damn. Fried fishy. Son of a bitch. These guys are the worst. Nice. I don't know how to get through this mist. If I can get through this mist. I don't think I can. I think this is just leading me back. Yeah, it's just leading me back. Oh shit, can I go down this way? Did I find the secret? Oh, I think I found the secret. Yeah, Sailor's Island. So this is Sailor's Island. I've never been here before, but I can already tell that this place is lots of fun. Yep, I think I'm gonna like it here. Good, after I restock my supplies here, I'm leaving again. You two can stay here. Hey, wait a second, we have no ship. Are you planning to just strand us here? I've gotta find Rocknom, and, and in the meantime, I have to find a cannon that's powerful enough to destroy him. I have no time to waste with you kids. You two can resolve your own problems. Damn. This is just great. He's not listening to anything we're saying. I wonder if there's anything that will make the old man change his mind. Maybe we can dig up some information. Let's go around town and see what we can find. Aw, oh, damn it. I knew that was going to happen. Alright, one second, guys. I am going to turn the fan on in the other room it should, it should literally take me like 30 seconds maybe but I'll be right right back Sorry about that. Nah, it just, it gets too hot in the computer room sometimes because it's right above the, the boiler, or the, the, the thing that boils water, I think it's the boiler. Hello travelers, I'm a merchant from the country of Nazir, a land that lies east of here. 
The area is known as Mid-Ocean, and if you sail to the north, you'll reach Value. Because this island is situated halfway between Nazir and Value, it's become per the perfect spot for traders to exchange information. Perhaps you should talk with people around town as well. You never know, or know what sort of information you might come across. Those guys are like talking to each other in like the weirdest way. I've got no use for you. If you don't have any money, don't bother me. I have 1500 gold. Oh, treasure chest. Repair kit three. Oh, uh, repair kit. Is that for the ship? I noticed the ship had hit points earlier. Let's see, there's two doors I can walk through. This is the Sailor's Guild. You can get information about ships and general sailing tips here. We also have purchase information on discoveries made throughout the world. So if you've made any discoveries, just let us know. We'll pay you handsomely for the information. I can buy information? There's a small island north of Sailor's Island in mid-ocean. You can't miss it. I literally just paid that guy five gold to tell me something I could have found out by just walking there. Hmm, what to do, what to do. That's interesting though. It's interesting that there's an information shop. Alright, so, I mean, like I was saying, with the system and everything, this game is pretty unique, I would say. Has some features that aren't, I haven't seen in other games. The information thing I'm, I've never seen. Welcome to my shop. Care to purchase anything? Alright, let's see what you got. You have garbage. Hot garbage. It's a bottle of hair tonic. Hey, this is the same stuff that Timus was using back on Pirate Island. They're all different kinds of herbs and crystals for making medicines. Nah, potions are useful, but... I feel like I'm gonna spend money, I'm gonna spend it on, uh... On weapons. Hey there, big guy. How's the sailing going? This is a ship parts shop specializing in big guns and stuff. But actually, I just ran out of stock. I'm waiting for the next shipment to arrive, so I'm a little bored here right now. Why don't you stay and talk for a while? I don't have anything better to do, and I might have some information that might interest you. So tell me, what's this information that you have? I'm glad you asked, big guy. It's something I heard from a sailor on his way back from Value. He says that the ship parts merchant in Value has started selling a cannon. They call the Harpoon Cannon. It's some sort of giant spear-like weapon that they mount on the front of your ship, and it's connected by a rope or something. And from what I hear, because there's a rope attached, you can just reel that spear-like thing back into your ship. It saves money on ammo. I expect it packs a real punch. With a weapon like that, even a small ship can probably hold it its own against larger ships. Harpoon cannon, huh? You know, we might just be able to use this information to try and convince Captain Drachma to take us to value. That's what I was thinking. Alright. Maybe there's some more chests around here. It is pretty cool to see, like, ships flying around in the background. It's so good to be on solid ground. Oh, lovely ground. Oh, sweet solid ground. It feels so good just to be able to roll around like this. Ah, uh, nothing beats being on solid ground. No more rolling motion. No more tilting. It's so beautiful. 
so there's a lighthouse. Let me check these places out. I am known as the mis mystery merchant. I travel the world's world selling my exotic wares. I have items that you have never seen anywhere else. Come take a look for yourselves. Hmm. What do you have? A ring that increases resistance to red and purple attacks. Why can't I buy it? Raises defense, hit percentage, will, and quick. Its background is unknown. Sure, let's get... Oh shit, that was a lot of money. I didn't realize. I'm sorry guys, I thought I had 15,000 for some reason. I don't know what I was thinking. Hello there, Traveler. Are you looking to for a place to rest your weary bones? You have come to the right place. The rooms are 60 gold a night. Would you like a room? Alright, that's fine. So we got the inn. Got another save point. Oh, nice. They say a lot of black pirates have been seen in the area lately. Black pirates are extremely evil outlaws who steal gold and kidnap weapons. Better watch out, okay? I could take them. I'm not worried about them, black pirates. Some weird loading time when walking in and out of rooms, but besides that, pretty cool. Alright, let's see what's over here. The place I should have gone instead of the weapon, the other guy. I'm Pinta, and I travel the skies looking for all sorts of equipment. I live my life researching for exotic and rare things. My dream is to collect all the rare items in the world, every last one of them. Wow, all the items in the world? You've got big dreams for such a little fellow. My dream is to sail all around the world someday. I know just how you feel. We both have really big goals. I think we'll be getting along just fine. You're a dreamer like myself. I have an idea. How, how would it be if we agreed to exchange the geograph geographical information you'll be gathering. With some of the items I'm going to be collecting, what do you think? That's a great idea. We can help each other accomplish our dreams. Exactly. I'm sure we'll work great together. Whenever you want me to go out searching for items, just go to your status screen and select the Painter Quest. The more of the world that you've explored, the more of the world I can search through for new items. The sailing won't be easy, though. I have to fight black pirates and sail through storms, but I'll make sure to find all sorts of items for you. If you use the same Pinta Quest command, you can make me come home and give you all the items that I found during my adventures. I wonder what sort of items I'll find in the new lands that you discover. Ah, oh, man. You have made a deal with Pinta and can now access the Pinta Quest from your status screen. VMU. Uh, games, mini games for sure. Kind of shitty though because I need a battery for my VMU, so. <laughs> oh, what? Alright, I do have extra memory cards. I'll have to do that later when I have time to pop one in and search for it. Welcome. This is a weapon and armor shop. I'm guessing that's what it is, is it puts the game on there and then I can play it. But, like I said, I need a battery. Damn it. 
I shouldn't have spent that thousand gold on that fucking ring. I mean, it was a really good ring, but it's still... Now I have no gold. Alright. Everyone's smiling in this game. Alright. Oh, it auto equips the the moonstone. Alright. Oh yeah, the mill. I gotta check the mill. Or the lighthouse, sorry, it's not a mill. What the hell am I saying? Hmm, this must be where they store stuff. It doesn't look like the sun reach it reaches in here, so it's cool and dark. It's their refrigerator. That's why it smells so bad. A lighthouse or an observatory. I'm, well, I'm, I'm guessing observatory because there's no, I don't see any lights and it's made of stone. It's like, it's like a little lookout. The water here is pretty clean. This is probably the town's main source of water. You know, I'm still wondering how there's sky islands in this world, but I guess that's why I'm playing it. They'll probably explain that soon. Mamacita. This island is a gathering spot for sailors and traders. Keep your ears open and you'll hear all sorts of interesting rumors and information. Captain Drachma? Will you stop calling me that? You don't sail with me anymore, therefore I'm no longer your captain. Really? Oh, that's too bad. I heard about a cannon that might be able to take out Rock Rockdom, but since you're no longer sailing with us, I guess it doesn't matter. What did you say? Well, in value, there's something called a harpoon cannon. It's the most powerful cannon there is. Capper, drug monk. You could go to value and get yourself, get one yourself, and take us along for the ride. What do you say? Hmm. It's probably just some trick to get me to take take you to value. Wait a minute! I'm telling you the truth. Now that I think about it, I remember hearing about something like that. Some valiant soldier passing through here, we're talking about it one day. They said it had enough power to destroy a small island. Polly, I hope you aren't taking their side and lying to me. When, Drachma, have I ever lied to you, huh? Hmm. And besides, I can tell these kids aren't lying by the looks in their eyes. I've been running this tavern for 20 years, Drachma. I know people. I can spot cheats and liars, and these children are neither. Alright, I won't get my hopes up, but I'll take you to value anyway. What? That means... Hmm. If you want to go, you'll have to work the entire way, but I'll take you there. Yeah, friendship pose. All right. Captain, you're the best. And thank you too, Polly. Thank you for believing in us. Hmm. 
Don't sweat it. When you're done with your adventure, come back and tell us about it. This crusty old bunch is dying for some fresh tales. Aye, aye, ma'am. It's the least I can do. <laughs> Alright, but be careful. Valya isn't known for their hospitality. They usually shoot first and ask questions later. And kidnap priestesses. She's right. Also, we'll need an entry passport to get there. Unfortunately, I don't have one. But I'm sure someone here on Sailor's Island has one. Valiant passport, huh? Alright, let's go look for one, Captain Dracula. Cool. I got my party back. Every time I come back to Sailor's Island, my first stop is always Polly's place. Her cooking is just so good. Uh, it takes All it takes is one meal and I feel totally refreshed for my next journey, no matter what it is. This guy seems like he really likes a good meal, but it looks like he spends all of his profits on food. It's hard to tell whether he eats to sail or he sails to eat. Come right in. Welcome to Polly's place. The specialty of the house is steam-baked marocas or ocean-style meat pies. And then there's Polly's own special Mistral Lok Lokua. Lokua? Oh, I haven't properly introduced myself. I'm Polly's daughter, Anne. I hope to see you around. Alright. So I could talk to these weirdos. Lately, the Valiant Empire has been expanding at an astonishing pace. I can't help but worry. They say this man named Lord Glacian who commands the Armada is responsible for their success. It's this guy. I know it's this guy. God damn it. Is this the Sailor's Guild? I need some information. Oh, if you have any questions about sailing, you're in the right place. I need to get a Valiant Passport sometime. Um, soon. Do you know where I can do this? Hmm, a Valiant Passport soon. That might be a little difficult. After the initial application, there's an intensive background check, and that can take up to a full lunar cycle. We can't just sit around for a lunar cycle. You're the Guildmaster here, right? Can't you make a fake passport or something? No, 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 no way. If anyone is caught making or carrying a fake passport, they're executed on spot. So what are you saying is that we'll have to... What we have to do is not get caught, right? Or if we get caught, all we have to do is escape. I don't want the Valiants after me. If I make a fake and you get caught, they might be able to trace it back to me. Then I'm a dead man. You call yourself a guildmaster, huh? You're just a Valiant puppet. Let's go find someone else. Um, excuse me? So, you're looking for a Valiant passport, eh? I was in value on business, and now I'm on my way home. I don't need this one anymore. I have but one request to ask of you, and the passport is yours. Yay! Really? You have a passport? What do you want? Anything. Ask us. Don't say anything. Dear God, do not say anything. He's an old man. I'm a merchant from the Kingdom of Nazar. Nazar is located on the desert island to the east of here. I've heard rumors that the black pirate Baltor has been seen in the skies near there. Baltor, huh? I've heard of him. He's ruthless. He attacks unarmed ships and steals their cargo. And what I wanted to ask of you, well, if you could escort me back to Nazar. If you get me safely to Nazar, then I'll give you the passport when we arrive. I think it's an even trade, yes. Uh -huh. We accept your offer, it's a deal. You accept, you are wise beyond your years, young one. Just leave it to us, we'll protect you. Hmm. Well, if we want to get to value, I suppose we have no other choice. I shall be waiting for you at the docks. Alright, let's finish up here and meet you at the Little Jack.
I need to remember which direction to go to get there, though. Also, I should save it real quick. So we're going to Nazir. Nazir. I know Nazir would technically ha have an eye in it, but it's close enough, and I like saying it. I'm not the most articulate of fellows, anyways. Alright. Let's do this. You see that stone reef straight ahead? Nazir is a desert land just between that reef. However, normal ships cannot pass through that reef. Therefore, you must fly alongside of it and go straight for a while. Eventually, you will see the southern Danal Strait, a valley-like area in between two islands. So just fly alongside the reef and head due east, huh? Alright, let's move. Cool. Get attacked by pirates. The Blackbeard. Yeah, I kind of figured that was going to happen. Captain Baltor, there's a Nazir merchant ship coming into view off port side. But there's a strange ship following it very closely. I don't recognize its markings. <laughs> you have nothing to fear from a ship that old. Let's introduce these fools to a true meaning of fear. They will know that I, Baltor, sent them plummeting to their deaths. Oh, what's up, Wolf? And also, yes, I would help you at any time. And how are you doing? All right, men, battle stations. Don't the, don't let them escape and take everything on board that isn't nailed down. Vice, there's a ship straight ahead, heading right for us. I see a black skull and they're black pirates. So that's Baltor, huh? What should we do, Captain? They're vastly outnumbered. Don't let them board us. We'll fight it out from a distance. Ready the cannons. If you see them attack, I want you to go into evasive maneuvers. Then, when they're in your sights, blast them. Aye, aye, Captain. Let's rip him to shreds, sir. Oh, okay. Um, I like late 70s, early 80s TVs. Those are my favorite for retro games. Guahaha. How do you like that? Feel the power of my ship, the Blackbeard. Now I shall teach you to tremble in fear before the power of the Black Pirates. Wahahahaha. Listen up, boy. At the top of the screen, a 3x3 three three grid will appear. This is your input command screen. What? Think of it as a time gauge of sorts. Each turn is divided into three parts. For each part of each turn, you, Aka, or I can input one command. Yeah. 
Yeah, uh, mine's pretty large. That's why uh, uh, I have a... It's like a 1978 RCA TV. Usually, okay, I look for them locally because buying them online is kind of uh, kind of pricey with the shipping. Um, but usually locally, you should be able to find somebody who has, uh, who has one and lets you, uh, usually they'll just, like, be trying to get rid of it for, like, ten bucks or for free, even. Um, you do, from what, from what I could tell, uh, from what I've seen is it's just like well in the X split or the uh, The star tech that I'm using well the X splits probably better because it has an output so you output Output to a TV so you're playing on the TV and then the other outputs going to the computer So you don't even look at the output on the computer you'd literally just be looking at the TV Every once in a while, you will see a column with a C at the top of the grid. During that turn, you will have a tactical advantage over your opponent. Concentrate all your firepower into that round. Frame Master does HDMI output only. Well, you can run a Frame Master into a... Uh... I think it's X-Split? It's the Japanese one, dude. It's It's... That's the crappy thing about it, is it's kind of expensive. Um, um, whatever TV you can get, the, the Sony... Okay, the early 90 Sonys probably have the best clarity. Um, those are harder to find, though. So, I mean, really... Really, any TV would be fine. It's more so the adapter you get. Because you're basically going to output from the frame map from the frame meister to the uh, to the capture device and the capture device is going to split one to the TV and then one to the uh, one to your computer and and so basically the stream is going to go straight to the computer and then there'll be a separate off stream I mean you can technically build another cord for it that's cheaper but if you want to get less lag, um, that's that's the only thing I can think of is using a device, a capture device that automatically splits to another monitor. These are the turns in which your enemy is going to unleash a powerful attack. Make sure to use your guard command effectively. Okay. So let's try... Oh shit. I see, I see what's going on here. Yeah, that would be zero lag to your TV. The problem is, the capture card I'm talking about is literally, it's... I was gonna get it, but I opted for the StarTech just for my needs. Purely for my needs, because I'm not... Com doing any competition type stuff um the star tech is the same thing but it doesn't have the output to the tv but um i think it's called an x capture i'm not 100 percent but you can build you can build a build or buy an adapter that splits before it goes to the capture card and then just have that going to the TV but honestly like I said zero lag the Sony the Sony ones you were talking about were probably probably the best for that hmm he's good T turn hard to starboard let's try to maneuver behind him Something's not right, Captain. Looks like he's preparing for something. I'm getting a bad feeling about this. He looks like he's going to try to get behind us. Most ships have their engines in the back, and that makes them more vulnerable from behind. But if he tries to get behind us, in the meantime, we'll be wide open. What do you want me to do, boy?
Now's our chance. He won't be expecting us to try and maneuver around him to his backside. Good job, boy. This ship doesn't have any cannons in the back. We've got a wide open shot at it at, at his engines. Alright. Assessing damage. Oh, come on, Internet. Yeah, take that, pirates. So, repair kit. Nice. <laughs> he missed. Or they missed. This is this is really cool actually. I really, really like this. Oh, and I got a level up from that? What? I thought my ship would just level up, but that's awesome. Take that, you evil pirates. Blast, you were lucky this time, but I'll hunt you down and have my revenge. You look so angry. This I swear on the code of the black pirates. You'll rule the day you ever cross paths with me, and somebody put out that fire. Vice, we did it. Yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> Ow. What'd you do that for, Captain? Yeah, those those are probably those are probably the best ones. If you're looking for zero lag and also picture quality of that era, those are probably going to be the best CRTs you can get. We're not there yet, you idiot. Never take your hands off the wheel until we come to a complete stop. Yeah, you idiot. Why don't you watch what you're doing? It's a good thing Captain Drachma here... Drachma's here to keep you in line. Aika, why you little... Haha, <laughs> I'm sorry. I just couldn't resist. You just defeated Baltor the Scary. Why don't you lighten up a bit? We're almost there. Get ready. Yeah, that's what I mean. Most people are going to get rid of CRTs because they're heavy. But that plays to your advantage because... You know what I mean? Like... Li like I said, I use the StarTech, but the StarTech doesn't have an output. It only outputs to the computer. But... Um, you can either get a cord that goes to your TV before it hits the StarTech. This this also depends on if you're gonna do if you're doing RGB or if you're doing SCART or if you're doing because um, if you're doing SCART, then you're gonna need a special adapter for that. And I think that's what some of those people do. Which that that starts getting up there. That reminds me, you should have received something called a Captain Stripe. 
Let me, let me, uh, let me look up the Japanese one, because it's, hold on. So this is the this is the card I was initially gonna buy. It has the same same signal quality output. You're still gonna need an adapter out. Yeah, the Microsoft X Capture. Yeah. Um, you can get you can get. Um, I know you can get um, component cables for the Super Nintendo but then you're gonna have to get an adapter to go to the TV but I think those Sony's have uh, they have some kind of special input that the other TVs don't have and I don't remember what it is you receive one for every major battle that you win it's sort of like a trophy if you use a captain stripe it'll make your ship stronger I see thanks for the device what all right. So there we go. So we'll go to maybe it's not equipment. It's got to be equipment. I said I had a captain stripe. Okay. Oh yeah, let me give let me give Drachma that other ring that I have. Oh, it lowers his attack. Yeah. Well, they found out a couple years ago that um, there's a special cord you can buy, I guess. The Super Nintendo actually natively uh, natively outputs a uh, com component, um, which is crazy. That cord is only like 20 bucks, which is awesome. Oh, what's this? That looks interesting. It's like little fishes. Yeah, they're just little fishes. Okay. Now I'm like confused as to where I was going now that I got in like a huge ass battle. I mean, ideally, from what I've read online, SCART is the best quality you're gonna get. But it's ridiculous like I don't know I it's just it's a lot of, it's a lot of money yeah. uh, I think it's the retrovision cable yeah I was actually gonna buy one for actually next paycheck I'm gonna buy one so on Friday um, so that way the next Super Nintendo playthrough I do I'll be able to hit it up pretty good I don't I don't think RGB really matters with NES I mean I know people get crazy with that stuff but I guess if you're upscaling it but I, I don't know. I'm more of a natural signal kind of guy. Like with the Dreamcast, I literally just plug it in the way it plugged in back in the day. Because I, I, I think it's a more authentic experience myself. But um, I, I know technically you can get sharper, sharper picture out of everything.
There is, um... There is a way to upscale Genesis. But I haven't looked into that. I've read a little bit about it, but I haven't actually... I don't, I don't know that much about it. Yeah, for sure. I know what you mean. All right, so let's. I'm I'm trying to find where I'm supposed to take this guy because it's it's one of these islands. Maybe it is this way. But yeah, that, that should work as long as you're, um, I would output to the CRT before the capture, but if you get a capture that does output like the X capture, then it, it does it automatically, so... Either way, it should give you a little less flag input. Yeah, and, and, you know, honestly, the thing is, with setups like that, there's, there's always going to be, like, you know, having to test it, make sure everything is working right, and different signals giving you different issues, so, I mean, that's going to be a whole nother monster, but, I mean, in theory, it should all work the way it's supposed to. Oh yeah, I know, I know what you mean. Beyond this point is the Valiant Empire. Show me your entry passport. What? You don't have a passport? I cannot allow you beyond this point. Go back to the pit you crawled back out. Alright, so I was... going... the wrong way. It's just an island. You found the guild stones. To the north, the Imperial City Valley of Caution, Low Visibility. To the east, the City of Sand. Oh, nice. It's like a little landmark. No, I don't think it... Because uh, the conversion cable, it's not going to be... It's not going to be enough lag... Um, that you're going to notice it, if that makes any sense. Like, I'll say this straight up. Like, the Star Tech, I literally play off the, the, the preview screen on my computer. And it's not, to me, I can play through games with no problem. Um, it's not noticeable enough to me. Like, I was still able to get as far as I normally get in Ninja Gaiden, and, and it was the same. It didn't... it didn't feel off, it didn't feel... I mean, when people are talking about lag with stuff like that, I mean, it's literally, like... It's not enough that a human would notice it, if that makes any sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But even even on the CRT, because you're just splitting the signal. So, I mean, the signal's just going in two directions. Whoa, hold on. Messing up the camera angle there. So, I mean... It, sh it shouldn't be any lag. Especially for a... 
Now, if you were splitting, like, HDMI, if you're splitting, like, PS4 into two separate, into the capture and then into another input, you're probably going to get some lag there. But if you're, if you're playing NES, you know, splitting it like that, I doubt you're going to notice any lag like that. You, sh you should be fine. Alright, um, let's take this guy out, and there's better latency cables you can get like I would definitely say whatever adapter or cable you get to split it I would make sure that it, uh, like check their reviews and everything and make sure that it does what it's supposed to do you should be fine though it sounds it sounds more complex in theory than it is Where's this city? Is it up here? Shit. I think I have to go down here to get to there. Haha. -ha. I think I made it there. Damn. Son of a bitch. Well, at least that hit. I mean... Nice. No, what? I got poison on the counter attack. There's gonna be something else I have to do with this town though. Like this guy's gonna give me the passport and then somebody's gonna steal my ship or like I'm gonna have to get a map or something or some little kid's gonna fall down a well. I know how these games go. I'm cool with that though. It's always fun exploring new towns. Oh no. There we go. Give me that delicious cutscene. Greetings, welcome home. We are the fleet that guards the Southern Danau Strait. We will escort you from this point. Oh, that would be greatly appreciated. Lead the way. Thank you very much. It would appear that you have safely brought me home. As I promised, here is the value and passport. All right, so this is what the passport looks like. We can finally get to value with this. I must get going. May the red moon watch over you and light your path. Well, thanks. All I had to do is kill Blackbeard. Off to Valia. Let's not waste any more time. Aye, aye. Little Jack, full rudder, turning 180 degrees to Valia. Full speed ahead. 
No, go to the other town. I want to see the other town. Oh. Well, never mind. The other town can wait. Can I still go there if I wanted to go there? You received a valiant passport. I'm just curious. We're the at Nazir Air Guard. It is our duty to defend the Southern Dano Strait. The Southern Dano Strait is a restricted area. No unauthorized vessels may pass through here without express permission. Oh. Oh, I see how it is. I'm not using a TV. That, that, that's uh, that's what I'm saying. Like even, all right. There's a vi uh, the the whole reason I got this uh, capture card is basically, um, even to the computer, there's almost zero lag for these types of signals. It's only if you're doing like HD by like if I plug my Xbox in, I'll get a little bit of lag. Which would matter if, you know, I'm playing like a first-person shooter online or something like that. But on a game like this, there's not enough lag for it, like, I don't even notice it. Like I said, I was playing through Ninja Gaiden the other night, and it was, it was fine. Like, that's probably the most technical game I can play that I can explain. Because, like, RPGs, that you don't really get a sense for that. But, like, Ninja Gaiden, like, the patterns and everything, like, it, it was pretty fine. Yeah, that should be fine. Because you're just going to split... You're basically going to split the signal from the NES. One 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 way is going to go to the CRT, and the other way is going to go to your capture card. Which I thought about doing just because I like that old school feel. I really do like those older TVs. It, all these games look way better on them. I know exactly what you're talking about. It's like more zoomed in. It just, it just feels right. Yeah, basically, uh, so like, let's say you're doing regular composite from NES. So you're going to do, you're going to take the composite cable from the NES and you can get a splitter for like, you know, 10 15 bucks and it's just going to go from one end to the splitter the splitters that that end's going to go into the capture card and the other end's going to go into your to your TV Yeah, that should work. that should work in theory. Like I said, a lot of this stuff, like you run into weird issues with this kind of stuff, where you have to like maybe there's a weird setting on the Frame Meister that you know because it's being split. But it should, in theory, that it should just work like that. Because that's how um, when I first looked up. Before even the X capture, everyone was using the Elgato, and the Elgato only had HDMI. It had HDMI in to USB, and um, they were just using a splitter, like from component to HDMI, and that's how they were doing it. And then they had a you know, one going off one way and one going off the other way. Uh, shit. I think it's this way. Yeah, it's totally this way. This is the way I was going. So this guy's gonna be like, where's your passport? And I'm gonna be like, I found it at your mom's house. I mean, if you have a frame meister, from what, I, from what I hear, the frame meister does quite a bit. Like quality wise. Beyond this point is the Valiant Empire. Show me your entry passport. A passport, I've got it right here. Take your time looking it over. 
Hmm, very well. You may proceed. We did it. Got the passport. Looks like we made it through. We just passed a Valiant security checkpoint. That's quite an accomplishment, don't you think? Yeah, I thought getting into value would be a lot tougher. Now all I have to do is sneak into... Oh shit. What? What's that? It's the only interest in entrance into the city of value, the Grand Fortress. Value is surrounded by impassable mountains, so that's the only way in or out. Wow, I can't believe they actually built something that big. During the Valio Nasir War, over a hundred Nasir warships bombarded this fortress for days. However, all the shells were upheld by these walls. The fortress may be the strongest structure of the New World. Look, it's moving. That is a lot of cannons. a whole lot of guacamole. The door of the fortress opens only once a day to allow ships to pass through. The back side of the wall is completely lined with cannons. It was those cannons that nearly wiped out the entire Nazir fleet. Defense and offense all in one. It's an invincible fortress. That's where they're holding Captain Dine and Finna. No prisoner has ever escaped from that fortress. Although I've heard that there's no there's one way out. Really? Then it's possible? Yeah, after they execute prisoners, their corpses are thrown off the island. That's just great. What are we going to do now? Ha, huh, no one's ever escaped because I've never tried it. I love a challenge. Don't worry, I'll rescue our friends and escape from that fortress. Just watch me. Very positive guy, Vice. I mean, he's got to try. It's his dad. He has to. He has to give it his all. His dad's pretty cool. I wish I had a dad like that. Glacian, your admirals have assembled as as you have commanded. Excellent. Oh shit. I'm gonna have to fight all these guys, I I take it. Admirals of the Value and Armada, let it let me first offer my gratitude to each of you for assembling on such a short notice. Let it be known that we have successfully captured a citizen of the Silver Civilization, as Empress Tadora requested. What? How? So we finally captured one. Who accomplished this? Haha, <laughs> <laughs> of course. I was the one to find her first. I crippled her ship and captured her. But I was betrayed by my own vice captain and she was taken from me. What a piece of shit, you killed him yourself, bastard. I'm sure Empress Tador is very pleased that she was recovered. Now if we could persuade her to give us the information we need, it would be worth all the effort we spent tracking her down. You said that the citizen of the civil silver civilization that found that you found was a woman? Now that's something worth getting excited over. <laughs> How old is she? Is she good looking? Does she wear leather? I like my women wild and crazy. 
He would like his women wildly crazy. You're out of luck, Figoro. The girl is the exact opposite. She's very shy and demure. Her name is Finna. She is currently being escorted to see Empress Tadora in the Imperial Palace. <laughs> Very good, Admiral Belza. I see that you are our espionage expert for good reasons. Of course, <laughs> being the head of weapon development, I have deeply vested interest in the technology of the Silver Civilization. <laughs> oh god. I will head back to the Imperial Palace and await Empress Tadora's orders to commence the search for the Moon Crystals. Finna, our new ally, shall aid us in gathering all six of the crystals from around the world. As for you, Alfonso, you lied in your report, and as punishment, you are now relieved of your position as commander of the Mid-Ocean Fleet. And for an indefinite period of time, you shall be confirmed to Ixitaka. You think I lied in my report, sir? Haha, <laughs> what are you talking about? You were attacked by the air pirates, and you deserted your crew and your ship to save yourself. Your ship and your crew were released by the air pirates and returned recently. They filed a full and accurate report. Our armada is invincible. Showing any signs of weakness is unforgivable. I trust you will not forget that. This meeting is over. I want all of you to be ready to depart at a moment's notice. Yes, Gord Palacian. Oh, God. But to fight all those guys. So, this is the capital of Valia, huh? It's impressive. It's beautiful, but the skies are so gloomy. Valia is a beautiful city, but because of the fierce thunderstorms caused by the yellow moon, the city is shrouded in eternal darkness. Kind of like Midgar. That's the Imperial Palace straight ahead of us, an area on the upper left. On the left shore is called the Upper City. Upper City? The people of Valia are either very rich or very poor, and they detest each other. Only the richest people in Valia can live in the Upper City. The less fortunate are confined to the lower city. It's on the right shore. It doesn't seem right to force them to live in poverty like that. Hey, Captain, where should we land? In the lower city, there's a dock that repairs and remodels ships. I'll bring her to the lower city point. Port. Point. God. My sleepiness is starting to take over. Hmm, lower city looks worse up close. Everything is so dirty and run down, and it smells like garbage. That's kind of mean. That smells like garbage. We still need to check the place out. We need to find a way to save Dad and the others. Captain, what do you think we should do? I'm returning to the docks. I'll oversee the installation of the harpoon cannon. Let's split up. I and I will check out the city while well, you get the cannon. Then we're done. We'll meet back at the end. Sure, I'll see you two later then. He just wants that whale. He needs the whale. Alright, well, I think I'm going to save it here for tonight, because like I said, I've been up since 5 in the morning. But it has been a pleasure, guys. I appreciate everyone coming and hanging out. Let me see who's on. We'll go ahead and throw a raid real quick. check out the city on the next playthrough I go for longer but I'm, I'm starting to get delirious whoa that was weird I got an ad that went full screen. That was very strange. Alright, so let's go ahead and 
Looks like my buddy, uh, my buddy Ma Majin's playing some Hearthstone, so we'll go ahead and throw him a host. 